Hey guys, Kindrew here, and today I have a video on my Windows 7 story. So, um, previously, or as you may know, I've, um, I've installed Windows 7 on my computer. I want to give you a walkthrough on my whole story, how it went, and how everything, you know, uh, how everything just kind of got set up there. So, um, uh, first off, the installation process. I installed Windows 7, uh, the evaluation copy, build 7100, uh, and... The installation process is where it was a little, it got a little hard. Uh, not hard, just uh, took forever because we had a lot of, I had a lot of problems, I should say. I want to give a big shout out to Mobile Phone 2003 Duncan and uh, Wii 493 Josh for helping me out through the way. And uh, Duncan actually sat with me for 12 hours. We were on TeamSpeak. That's a total of 12 hours. So it took like, six, like originally I had, I had the ISO from uh, Windows 7 already. I burned it to a disc, which at first I had to. Uh, what do you call that? I burned it to a DVD-R, and I had to get a DVD-R, and then I burned out my laptop. That went fine. Uh, the burning process wasn't too bad. Now, booting it, um, we had a, the installation disk worked, but um, it wouldn't detect my SSD, my Intel X25M, and I'll put a picture of that probably right here, um, or something. But, uh, yeah, the Intel X25M, uh, it wouldn't detect it, like, in the partitions. Uh, I already unallocated the space and everything. And what I was planning to do is, I have uh, two hard drives. I have the 160 gig hard drive that was using me, uh, my old Windows XP install. Um, had some old files on it. I backed all of those up because I was going to do a dual boot on that Windows XP with Windows 7. And on my SSD, I have Windows XP as well. And during the installation pro process, I just said, oh well, you know, might as well upgrade and uh, rid of XP. And you know, because uh, Duncan and they were, Duncan and we were really saying that Windows 7 was really good. And, you know, it was a really good upgrade and, you know, one of their primary OS's. And uh, I took the recommendations and what I did is I nuked my uh, Windows XP 160 gigabyte hard drive. I backed up all my files, of course, to my 500 gig external. Um, so I nuked that drive and then it was uh, free, with, you know, it's an allocated space of 160 gigs. And then we were thinking if I can get out my SSD, it would be extremely fast because Windows 7 would run pretty good or any operating system runs pretty fast on an SSD. Um, is there are stories about people getting 14 second, 13 second boot times on Windows 7 with an SSD. So, I backed up my SSD, and I didn't have that many files on it, only 20 gigs worth of Windows XP files and stuff. Um, I nuked that drive, and, um, it still wouldn't detect it, so we had some problems. We tried to find a way to detect it within, uh, the, uh, Windows 7 partition install. It wouldn't work. I don't know what's wrong, um, it's something with the drivers. I had the install just for my SATA RAID card, but it still wouldn't work. So what I did is I just, in the end, I decided to take the Windows uh, 7 install disk, install on my 160 gigabyte hard drive, uh, so I gave it all of that, and then I used my SSD as a kind of a backup drive, and I put some applications on there so it starts up faster. For example, I have my Steam apps, my Steam games like Team Fortress 2, and some other applications installed on my SSD. That way when I open it, it'll feed off the SSD and it'll, run, it'll open pretty fast. Um, now... For the actual OS updates, when I actually got the OS installed after everything, the operating system detected a lot of my drivers except for my video card, the NVIDIA GeForce 5200. It's an old AGP card for my old desktop that I installed it on. Um, I had some problems. I found some Vista drivers uh, for the old, for the Vista 32-bit, the latest one for that. It works well, but I just have some problems with resolution. I don't get 1680 by 1050. I get like 1680 by 1200, which my card's not even set for. Um, so my thing's a little blurry, um, but it's, it still works well. Gaming, it runs okay, but not as well as on, on XP with those drivers. I guess because these drivers aren't built for 7. Hopefully they come out with 7 drivers, or I'll upgrade my graphics card. I experienced about 3 VSODs on Windows 7. I'll say that right out of the box. Um, I think one was like memory dump issue, something like, I don't know what happened, but I was like live streaming or something, and I, I tried to open a video and just blue screened on me, so something with the memory. Um... General startup and shutdown speeds on 7 are much, much more increased over uh, Vista, I should say. XP, it's about equal for me, um, but uh, it does have, you know, some of the eye candy and, you know, the design changes, but it runs much more lighter than Vista did, even with the uh, arrow and everything else. It doesn't take up a lot of my RAM. It does really, really well with my 1.5 gigabyte uh, in RAM. And I've heard stories of people installing it in 512 megabytes. That's pretty much the standard or the baseline for Windows 7 install. So 1.5 does me fine. Um... General speed applications works great. Like I said, when I start up, all my applications, you know, just snaps up. Uh, they're doing well. Um, I don't have that much starting up when I start up anyway, like uh, Steam, etc., etc. Steam, Synergy, and my audio drivers, and that's it. Um, it's less nagging for UAC. Um, you can set it to a good, good setting where it, it alerts you, but it's not as nagging as uh, Vista was. 
um, tweaks. I did do some tweaks. Uh, they have some cool features that uh, a lot of people like, like snapping to the corners and stuff like that. But I turned that off because uh, it annoys me. Also, um, shake to sh sh you know when you shake and it maximizes the window. I had issues where like uh, Duncan mentioned to me too when you move the window. Sometimes when you like grab the window and you you know. Uh, throw it over to your other monitor, it, like, you know, maximizes and minimizes all the other windows. So I disabled shake to maximize and, um, uh, arrow snapping, whatever, window snapping, whatever it's called. Um, I do like the taskbar. I installed a custom theme. It worked well. Um, I like how, you know, they integrated it with, uh, it's, you know, I thought it would be pretty clunky, um, because I'm used to Windows XP, the Slant XP type, uh, skin, but the 7, uh, taskbar did grow custom to it. has some cool features. Some cool add-ons you can get for it, like uh, stacks and stuff like that. Um, but really, really, uh, you know, overall, I got used to it. Um, I dropped a lot of applications in there. I use them as a shortcut. And um, it has really cool, uh, what do you call that? Like if you open two notepads and minimize them, it puts them in a little stack. Um, really, really nice. So, um, yeah, overall Windows 7, uh, it had some issues installing it. I had a lot of problems getting my SSD to work with it, which I don't know why. I had a couple B-Sods. But general speed, general applications works fine. Compatibility mode, there's still some issues here and there, but I get most of my programs to run either way. Um, but yeah, um, this is my story. I'm going to have some other video, uh, Windows 7 stuff on the way. I'll have a blog post of my overall review of it um, and it's going as it goes into uh, you know uh, the final version. So yeah, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to join or uh, you know, install Windows 7, I'll leave a link in the video description to the right. So check it out, guys. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to check out the blog post. I'll be linked to this, of course, in the video description for a more in-depth review of Windows 7. Thanks for listening.